Hey guys, it's Leah B from Prestige Veteran Medical Consulting. I wanted to come out today and do a video about TMJ or temporal mandibular joint dysfunction, sometimes referred to as disorder, um, and VA disability. So there are a lot of veterans that are service connected for TMJ as it relates to their service. And I get a lot of questions about this. So what is TMJ? So temporal mandibular joint dysfunction is a disorder of the oral cavity or of the um, joint that helps the jaw function, right? So I have a couple notes here. Let me pull them up. So um, the joint itself is a sliding hinge joint, right? So this joint helps the muscles of mastication and your mouth move and, and you chew and talk and everything that you do. And sometimes it can be dysfunctional and it can lock or it can pop or it can, um, you know, ha that hinge can get stuck and not open properly, or it can, um, you know, open painfully, right? Um, some people may not be able to open their mouth um, to a very large degree in the range of motion of their jaw joint itself, just like range of motion of any joint can be impacted. Okay. Um, so it, it's a sliding hinge joint that um, connects your jawbone to your skull. Okay. Um, so what are some of those symptoms? You can have pain or tenderness of your jaw. You can have pain in one or both of the temporal mandibular joints on either side. You can have um, aching and pain around your ear, difficulty chewing or pain with chewing. You can have facial aching, um, as I mentioned before, locking, popping of the joints, um, clicking sounds, grinding sounds, um, a lot of times this is um, done, this is evaluated at your dentist's office. So your dentist can evaluate this. Um, your primary care manager can also treat you for this. There are different modalities that they can do to um, you know, help treat this, whether it is with muscle relaxants, they can, um, there are some oral devices that can be made to help correct this or treat the problem. Um, there, are, there are a variety of conditions that you can talk to your doctor about if you think that you're suffering from temporal mandibular joint or TMJ um, dysfunction. So um, how is this related to a veteran service? Well, veterans can be ra relate, uh, rated for any service condition, uh, any condition, either on a primary or secondary um, manner, right? So when I say primary manner, were you diagnosed in service? Um, were you diagnosed in service? Did the symptoms start in service? Is it directly related to service? If you were diagnosed while you were on active duty and the symptoms have continued, um, that is a way that you can be service connected for the condition. On a secondary service connection basis, you can be secondary, ser secondarily service connected for this. And we see this quite a bit to other conditions, right? So did you uh, one of the biggest ones that we see are mental health disorders. So do you have PTSD, depression, um, anxiety disorder? A lot of these disorders can cause dysfunction um, um, in the jaw, whether it's TMJ, um, bruxism, or other conditions. I may do a video later on. I will do a video later on specifically about um, TMJ and some of these mental health disorders um, so that we can go over and and I can I like to go over some of that literature so that you guys can um, look up some of those articles. So ch look out for that video in the future. Um, but from a secondary service connection standpoint, some of those can be um, related to mental health disorders, right? Um, also, if you just have jaw trauma, right? So getting hit or struck in the head or the face or the neck or the ear, um, any kind of traumatic injury to the head can cause TMJ, right? Um, if you had some type of um, you know, like a TBI blast injury that can cause issues down the road with your jaw as well. Right. Um, let's see. So I am not an accredited agent. I always talk about this. I'm not an accredited agent. I am not a, an attorney. I am a medical expert. I am a former CMP examiner. So I like to just go over things from a medical professional standpoint, but I do like to touch ratings because I think that's important to a lot of veterans. They like to know about ratings. They can be rated for a specific condition. Um, so this can be, um, this information is found in, um, in the 38 code of federal regulation. So you can pull this data up, um, yourself um, on the schedule of ratings. It's under the dental and oral conditions. It's written under diagnostic code 9905 um, and chapter four of the 38 code of federal regulations. So um, of course, keep in mind that ratings are always subject to change, um, you know, based on 
the powers that be if they change ratings. I know there's a few things up for change or consideration for change right now. Um, but right now, um, it's, it's mostly based on range of motion. So they're going to get a little device. I don't think I have my goniometer here. I did a knee pain video recently and, and we used my goniometer. Um, but a goniometer is a device that we use to measure range of motion. And so they're going to do that with your with your mouth as well. So they're going to measure the, the, the amount that your jaw can actually open. Um, and they're going to measure that in millimeters, right? So the ratings go anywhere from, um, looks like 10% to 50%, right? Um, and it's all based on how many millimeters your mouth can open. And then also, um, there are some other things with dietary restrictions that are involved. So, um, you know, if, if you're 30 to 34 mil, I'm not going to go over every single one of these because I don't want to like bog this conversation down, but we'll go over the top rating. So if you're, if you're zero to 10 millimeters of maximum unassisted vertical opening, you can be rated at the 50% level. Okay. If you also have dietary restrictions to all mechanically altered foods. Okay. It's 40% if it's without dietary restrictions to mechanically altered foods, if it's zero to 10%. And then there are some other, um, you know, you can also be 40% if you have mechan if you have dietary restrictions to mechanically altered foods, but you're between 11 and 20. So again, I don't want to get bogged down with the measurements and the ratings, but they are searchable online if you guys would like to look those up. Um, okay, so the key takeaways are that you can be service connected connected for temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. It is a disorder that you should go definitely go and get evaluated for if you're having troubles with your jaw, just so you can get treated and you can get disability if you, if you are suffering from it um, and that you can get taken care of. So I hope you guys are help, are, are found this helpful. Keep in mind, if you're a hundred percent service connected veteran, you should be entitled to VA dental care and you can get evaluated by this by your dentist. Also that you can get evaluated by this, by your primary care doctor. You can tell your regular doctor, not just the dentist, you're having problems with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.